Hi, in this video we're going to use Burp Intruder to find hidden subdomains that are in scope but aren't explicitly linked from the initial set of domains you're testing. You can use this to discover additional access points and attack surface, such as internal subdomains that really shouldn't be publicly accessible, or subdomains that have been forgotten about and maybe aren't regularly updated. You should bear in mind this is a technique that can only be used if the target domain has a wildcard DNS record. Once you're ready, send a request for the main domain you're investigating to Burp Intruder. For our test, we're going to use portswigger-labs.net. Go to the Intruder tab and you'll see your request. In the target field, we're going to add a placeholder subdomain. I'm just going to add X. To mark that as the payload position, we just need to highlight the text and click on Add. Now we can set up the attack details. Go to the Payloads tab and add your list of potential subdomains. You can import your own list, but for this test, choose either of the directory's built-in word lists. Click Start Attack. To help you identify which requests return a different response, sort the results in order of length. You can see that the request sent to staff.portswigger-labs.net has a different length. Although you can view the response in the results, you can right-click the subdomain you enumerated and choose Request in Browser, in Original Session, to copy a URL for the request. This particular URL will render a login page.